Hello guys, believe it or not, today I'm sharing my very uh, Visual Studio Code um, settings. So I've been asked a lot about my minimalistic set. So today uh, I'm going to give you the key to get pretty much the same thing. So uh, I opened a project I'm working on, which is Armarius Nox. So this is the front end of my uh, CMS. I'm working on every day so for the moment uh, it's a dog theme you can also switch for yeah to the uh, here the light theme uh, which for this one for the light theme I'm using SETI so it's uh, yeah SETI UI and for the light color themes it's Xialu Bay light which is pretty nice so Basically, I love then mode. Okay, so it's if I open, uh, let's open something in the uh, in the UI components UI. Let's open uh, armor section. Okay, you can see that I got right off anything beside code. There is no gutters. No, there is no uh, number lines. There is no nothing except the file uh, which is currently opened. So. There is no tabs. I got tried of everything. Uh, there's a line height kind of obviously uh, huge, which because I love when the code breathes. And have a look at the extensions I'm using, okay, every day. So I work on both Nox and Laravel every day, mostly PHP and JavaScript. So for this, I have. Uh, if I uh, do a Ctrl Shift X, I'm gonna open the extension tab at the right now. So GitHub Copilot stuff, which I'm not a big fan of AI, but uh, I find it quite helpful sometimes. Uh, auto close tag, auto rename tag, it speaks for itself, but very popular package. Common product icons, only visual stuff. City light icons, which is the city, uh, which is the icons I use when I use my dark theme. And the dark theme is pale like theme, which is the theme you previously saw at the very beginning of this video. Uh, now it's Xiaolu uh, light, which you can find here, and the city icon set. So. Uh, besides that, we have a file utils, which is a convenient way, you know, for duplicating, renaming, destroying um, files. So for example, if I switch back to the armor section, which is here, if I want to rename it faster, I could do a F2, or if I want to duplicate it, I can tap, type duplicate, okay, in the upper bar, and you can see files utilize duplicate so I can duplicate it I'm gonna rename it and it's gonna let's call it armor section 2 and it's gonna create a, in a convenient way a second a copy of this file so it's quite good you're wondering why uh, it's not incorporated in VS Code so it doesn't matter if you have shortcut or stuff file utils is very convenient JavaScript it has six code snippets, basically snippets for JavaScript. I'm not using every one of them, but you can see, uh, I don't know, import. Also for the loops, this is very cool. Um, for for off loop with a for uh, shortcut, fin, for the for in loop, extra. So uh, you can earn a bit of time with that. Laravel official visuals code extension, which is very good, very powerful extension. Uh, you can jump from, you know, route name or config name to the view, to the file. Uh, you can create if it's missing. Turn this auto completion for uh, eloquent builder. Uh, query builder, sorry, or eloquent methods. So very, very powerful. At the very bottom of the list, you can see three Laravel um, extensions I'm not, uh, I'm no longer using. I disable it. I disabled them and I'm only using uh, the official one and I like it very much. It's, uh, I'm, I'm still productive. We're going to be honest about it. It's always better in terms of auto completion. It's better auto completion to have PHP Storm with IDE help. Uh, okay, IDE Laravel help uh, extension stuff. Okay, this is a paid extension and it's very, very powerful. Um, it's, it's, it's better to completion stuff, but VS Code feels snappier and I really love minimalistic stuff. Uh, and 
this, this, this powerful extension brings already a lot of things, so I'm pretty happy about it. Next here are which is uh, another convenient way to create, I don't know, layout and stuff, composable and files, config, config stuff for next. So there's a tons of helpers here. I love it, definitely. Uh, you know, where my way to go when I'm working on uh, next pain like themes and so the dark theme. Peacock, of course, when you uh, open. Uh, when you work on uh, multiple Windows stuff, for example, I'm working nowadays on CMS, so I have basically uh, two or three VS Code instances open, okay, so I can, uh, this is why you can see here a greenish bar, so I can choose a color for each of my windows, so I switch to the front end next, which is a green with a greenish bar, so I know it's, I'm on next, it's a visual, visual helper, uh, it's simple than that, so it, it's really cool. So PHP stuff, PHP dot blocker to generate automatically some comments, apropos functions and methods. Uh, PHP IntelliFence, okay, so the IntelliSense for PHP. Namespace Resolver, so uh, I customize it, so when I sh do a uh, control shift I, I auto uh, automatically import my uh, the class I, I'm writing. Pretty TypeScript errors, I discovered it recently, awesome stuff, okay, awesome stuff, so it makes it uh, more readable, more convenient, um, it makes the, makes the TypeScript error uh, human readable, so sometimes it's just a bunch of words and it's really cryptic to read, so it's very, very awesome. Uh, Tailwind CSS Intelligence. Tim PHP Pest, which helps me a lot when I create new class, PHP classes. Uh, the official, so the official extension, obviously. Uh, view 3 snippets, uh, view VSQ snippets, uh, okay, and Xolia Bay, which is a set of um, core, very core cool, um, themes. So this is my extensions, okay? I work every day on Laravel uh, and Noxt, Vue, JS, PHP, HTML, CSS, a bit of CSS, not too much, please, but it's really awesome. So, if you want to get my settings, you can go to my website, laravaljitsu.net, you scroll down to the bottom and you click to visit settings, so uh, you jump to my very private guest where you can find my settings.json. So, I try to group them by category, hopefully it's not that mess. So if you're not a fan of Zen mode, it's okay. You can still customize it, as I told you. So for example, I disable a lot of things. Uh, for example, uh, I don't know, getters, I think. Uh, getters, line numbers. Yeah, I did the line numbers off. There's a lot of things that are disabled. You see off, false. Try to enable it, try to uh, Google it. Uh, I don't know, there's just, this is my settings, this is the the direct way to get this stuff, okay? So I'm gonna close all so this is it, uh, basically all my uh, Visual Studio code, Visual Studio stuff I'm using, feel free to share, feel free to, uh, I don't know, uh, have a look at any of my extensions, like it, install it, give it a try, get your stuff done and just make um, your environment very pleasant. That's a, a good way to be productive. So thank you everyone and see you next time.